All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So what I'm going to do in this video is take you through 10 years of my lifting career, ages 13 through ages 23. Um, I know I've done a video similar to this, but now that I've actually done a show, um, I wanted to add in those photos and kind of give some more commentary um, on my transformation with those photos in addition to my older photos. So um, I'm going to be doing 10 years. Year by year, I'll be showing pictures of every single age. Um, thank God for cell phones, man, because every single year I happen to be a douchebag and take at least one picture um, at the gym. So I've got some gym selfies from every year, age 13 to 23. So I kind of wanted to go through that chronology uh, of lifting. So let's start with age 13. So this is when my dad first took me to the gym and he was teaching me how to work out. At this point in time, I was only doing full body workouts every single day. I didn't really understand the concept of doing a split, but I did understand the concept of posing in a mirror, kind of. There's my little side chest there. Um, my first gym selfie right there with my cousin there. We got the flip phones going on. So age 14, as you'll see in these pictures, I started to get a little bit bigger. I grew my hair out, so this is where I started having long, you know, stoner looking hair. Um, you can see a little bit more muscularity now, but still not much. At this point, I was still just working out at the local rec center, you know, not doing a whole lot of anything crazy. So when we get to age 15, I'm still at the rec center, but now I'm starting to lift heavy. Um, my dad's starting to teach me a little bit more about uh, nutrition and bulking up and, and how to do splits. I'm still pretty small, but as you can tell, I, I think in the pictures, I thought I was pretty big and I still got the goddamn flip, fl the flip phone wearing a tight ass, uh, extra schmedium Abercrombie shirt. So age 16, I think at this point was when people started, you know, calling me a muscle head in high school. At this point, I started looking a little bit more muscular than the average guy my age. My arms started to get a little bit bigger. Um, you could kind of notice now that I worked out. You could kind of tell that, okay, this kid, does he play a sport or something? This kid's looking like he's kind of athletic. Um, so after age 16, I started to bulk up. So here comes age 17. So I only have one picture from age 17 and I probably only took one because I look like absolute fucking shit. So here's the one picture I took in my basement at age 17. I weighed about 185 pounds here in this picture. And that was my first attempt at bulking up. So age 18, at this point, I'm working out at World Gym. I definitely got a good training routine nailed down. My, my hair is long as fuck. I'm probably weighing between 185 and 195. Uh, when I was uh, 18, that's really, I really just started eating whatever the fuck I wanted. I was going to college. Um, there I am in my dorm room. That's after I started cutting down, though, so we'll get to that in a minute. So from ages 18 to 19, I began cutting down. So I started cutting down from about 190, and I got down to like 165. So most of these pictures are going to be in the 165 to 170 weight range, and this is age 19. Um, so I actually thought I looked pretty good at age 19. I had a fairly good amount of muscle. Um, I did an okay job of cutting. I still didn't have like a crazy six pack or anything, but I definitely got my body fat down significantly. I was still pretty strong. There's 405. I was doing that for reps on the trap bar at age 19. So age 20, again, I only have one photo from age 20. I'm not really sure why. This is like the only picture I have. Um, this is my redneck phase. I was wearing the camo shirt there and the Miller Light boxers. Um, at that point, I think I weighed one night. I was back up to like 190. So age 21, that's when the super bulk began. My goal was to get to 220. So in this picture, I'm 211. That was just proof that I was way over 200. In this picture, I'm probably getting a lot closer to 220 because you can really tell that I'm starting to look pretty fat. Um, that was after my first three powerlifting shows. There's a front double bi powerlifting meets, I mean. There's a front double bicep of me looking like the fucking marshmallow man. There's me smoking hookah, looking fat as shit. So that's my super bulk days. So age 22, I start to dial things down, and I begin the cut. So age 22, I go from about 200-ish down to the 180s. Um, 
out when I was 21, I cut down from 220 after I competed and I got down to like 200. So there was like a 10, 20 pound cut when I was 21, but most of my cutting was done during age 22. And this is where I got down into the low 180s, high 170s at the lowest. Um, as you can tell, I had a fairly good amount of muscle when I was cutting down at this point. And I probably shouldn't have cut down any further. Um, I probably shouldn't have ever done this bodybuilding show because I lost so much damn muscle in the process. And that's the lowest I got right there at age 22. I think I was 165 in this photo right here. So now age 23 comes along. So at the beginning of the year, my first cut that I do at age 23, I cut down for this powerlifting meet and I cut down to 165. So that's my first cut of the year. So I'm starting the year pretty good. I'm down to 165. I bulk back up a little bit. So here I am at the very beginning of my prep. I'm probably weighing about 175-ish there. Here I am about halfway through my prep. I'm probably weighing about 160-ish here. Um, so this is probably about six weeks out from my show in the 160s, maybe high 150s range. So here's about one week out from my show. and these photos, I'm weighing about 150. Now here we're getting to a couple days to a day before my show. and these photos, I'm weighing low 140s. Yes, you heard that right. I absolutely starved myself for the show and it was a I severely regret it because I I feel like I lost way too much muscle in the process. There I am backstage about to go out looking like I'm in blackface. There's one of my stage photos. That was like my favorite one because I thought it looked pretty damn ripped um and my chest looked pretty striated. So there's the day after the show, after I refed, so I bounced back up to 155 pounds. And here's a week after the show, after a week of refeeding, and I weighed about 100 in high 150s, low 160s maybe. So the point of this video is kind of to go back over where I've been, all the box, all the cuts, how heavy I've been, how much muscle I've gained, how much muscle I've lost, and just the whole process of what you can expect while you're, when you're being a natural bodybuilder, kind of the things that you can expect. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.